Hi, everyone. I'm going to start with a, with a short video. Food, clothing, shelter, three of the most basic human needs. But there's a fourth. It's communication. And it's so important that we'll overcome any obstacle to achieve it. We've hammered words into stone, ridden across frontiers, braved wild oceans, strong cables around the earth, and then built technology to liberate ourselves from them. Now it's time to take the next leap with a free network created by people that doesn't need a signal, that can't be censored or shut down, that goes where we go. Because our right to communicate is just too important to trust to anyone else. Welcome to the Internet of Us. So welcome to the Internet of Us. And uh, I'm here today to tell you about my one dream. My one dream is to connect the whole planet for free to the Internet. And my vision to do that, it is through direct connections. Direct connections are so important. Very important to be connected with yourself first. Then very important to be connected with you. And direct connections today are everywhere, among all computers, and also starting to be among all smartphones. I started to code when I was eight. And uh, one of my first computers when I was 10 was this ti 99 a from Texas Instruments. And I learned how to code in BASIC. Um, it's a very easy language, but it gives you the understanding of these very, very powerful machines. And at that time, when I was coding my first programs or games, I was recording them on cassettes. And it was taking ages just to move a program from my computer to the one of one of my friends. And I dream at that time, wouldn't it be so great if you could just use radio wave to move one program from one computer directly to another. In the same period of time, you had this supercomputer, the Cray. And in 1985, the Cray 2, the power of this computer was 1.9 gigaflops. Just to give you an idea of the acceleration and the change and the progress today, the iPhone 6S is 150 times faster. And what's even more amazing about these machines and these computers is they have these wireless radios now embedded that enables direct connections from one phone to another. Today, you can have these connections happening at a distance of approximately 70 meters, and very soon, it's going to be up to half a kilometer. So to realize my dream, I moved to the US in Silicon Valley, and I built a company called Open Garden. And I went there to build this technology called peer-to-peer -peer mesh ne networking. Mesh networking is so amazing. It's the way we are all going to be connected in the future in mobility. And what we are doing is just replicating the original architecture of the internet onto mobile devices, and everyone, every device is becoming an internet node. So this represents actually what's happening just right now. So you can access the internet through cellular towers, you can access it through Wi-Fi, but also more often we'll be able to access it through other devices and through other people. What's amazing with this technology is it creates a new way of moving information. So not only your data can go through 3G, 4G, can go through Wi-Fi, but now it can move for free directly from one smartphone to another, from one person to another. And this is now a short video that explains how the app we have built that uses this technology, it's called FireChat, and how it works, and why it is so disruptive. FireChat creates a new way to communicate with our phones that does not require a data plan or even a network. It's an app for iOS and Android, and it's completely free. Here's how it works. FireChat connects our phones directly with one another. When two phones are less than 200 feet apart, they automatically connect. You don't need to do anything. 
Just leave Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on, even if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection. If there are more than two phones, they create a larger network. It's called a peer-to-peer -peer mesh network. With FireChat, you can send both public and private messages through this new kind of network. Public messages can be seen by everybody. Private messages can only be seen by the sender and the recipient of the message. These messages are encrypted so that no one else can read them. Now here's where it gets interesting. A private message may transmit through several phones to reach the recipient. It's almost as if each phone is acting as a postman, passing the message to the next postman, but without seeing it. Again, only the sender and recipient of a private message can read it. But what happens if you want to send a message to someone who's not part of your local network? It's simple. Just send the message and forget about it. Remember, people move all the time. They'll carry your message to the next local network and so on. And what if you want to send a message to someone far away, yet you still don't have internet access or cell phone coverage? Well, it's the same thing. Just send your message. It'll travel through the local networks until it finds a phone that does have internet access, and your message will be delivered. FireChat uses the cheapest and fastest connections all the time. The more people use it, the better it gets. That's the opposite of traditional networks, which become congested when too many people use them. So let's recap. With FireChat, you can create your own communications network to send both public and private messages, and it's free. But remember, you need enough people around you to make it work. If you live in a city, it'll take about 5% of the city's population using FireChat to cover the city. Get FireChat now with a few friends and start your own network. So, I went in India a bit more than a year ago in Bangalore, and I went to pitch this technology to explain how it could enable people who cannot afford to pay for data or people who are in places where there is no mobile data infrastructure to actually be able to send and receive messages completely for free. And on, on my way back from Bangalore, I stopped in Hong Kong before I flew back to San Francisco, and I had really a, a strong intuition. And I was really directly connected to it. And I knew I had to stay in Hong Kong that weekend. I could have gone to Beijing to meet my friends and my girlfriends who was there, but, but I didn't go. I knew I had to be in Hong Kong. And what happened is amazing. 24 hours after my stay, I realized that 100,000 people had installed FireChat in the city of Hong Kong. Pretty unusual. The reason why is because there was this umbrella revolution starting. And uh, that's me uh, in the middle of uh, uh, Central or Admiralty uh, next to, uh, to everyone. I wanted to understand how my app was going to be used. And uh, I decided to stay. Over a period of seven days, half a million people in the city of Hong Kong installed the app. And what was amazing is they used it to organize themselves, but mainly to communicate. Because when you were in the crowd, you had so many people that all the mobile networks were completely congested. So you could not access your traditional social network or your traditional messaging apps. The only way to communicate was this app. People were building their own network, supporting their own communication infrastructure with their own smartphone. The same thing happened two months ago in Kuala Lumpur when 130,000 people installed this app to communicate again in the crowd crowd and organize themselves. We made terrific progress over a year, um, less than a year. So in Hong Kong, we moved like the equivalent of 300,000 messages over this peer-to-peer -peer mesh network. In Kuala Lumpur, uh, we moved more than a million messages over this network. The reality is today you have 1.7 billion smartphones on the planet and you're gonna have three times more smartphones arriving in the coming years. And if you wanna connect all these people, the only way to make it happen is through peer-to-peer -peer mesh networking, through direct connections. Large companies in the Silicon Valley try to do it through the skies with balloons or satellites or drones, but these technologies cost billions of dollars in infrastructure and will never be able to spread out connectivity in the, the, ma the major cities in emerging markets where there is a lot of density. So peer-to-peer -peer mesh is the solution to connect the next five billion people. What's amazing with peer-to-peer -peer mesh and with this new network that we are building is what it enables it, and what it means. It means 
everyone will be able to access to knowledge, to information. It means the wealth for everyone is going to increase because direct communications enables payments between people, enables commerce to happen between these people. And what's also amazing is the exponential access to, to growth that it creates in terms of innovation and creativity. I want to tell you something very uh, personal that I didn't make public, and I'm doing it today. It's something that happened in my life six days ago. I decided to resign as a CEO of my company that I created. And that was a very, very tough decision for me. You can imagine when you are an entrepreneur and you spend all these days and nights, 24 hours by seven, working on your project, making your idea becoming a reality. And I did that for three main reasons. The first one is for my company. The second reason was I, I was in the middle of a battle. I knew I was not going to win. And the third reason is because I failed many times. I had three things that made me succeed in the past and that I recommend that you do if you want to realize your dream. And these three things are first, you've got to be directly connected to your intuition because your intuition is going to give you the right vision. And that's how you are going to know which path to take. And you have to trust yourself. You have to believe in you. The second thing which is important is you have to directly connect with your power, your own magnetic power. Because when you have an idea, when you have a dream, and you want to sell your dream, you're going to have to do it every day, at every moment, with everyone, with your partners when you recruit people, when you need to convince people to raise money, for example, when you are an entrepreneur. And the third thing, which is very important, you have to be directly connected to the reality of the situation because that's what helps you see things others want, and that's how you can succeed. I invite you to uh, follow me on Fire Chat in the pursuit of my one dream. And uh, what I want to say to Hong Kong is, Thank you, Hong Kong. I love you, Hong Kong, because you made my idea become a reality. And I'm going to pursue this one dream. Thank you.